Hi, I'm Michael Wenning. I'm a director from Germany and I'm here with WIN, the Water Integrity Network, because I made a film for them. Okay, and so you're doing interviews uh, for the Water Integrity Network here. Yeah. Is that the case? I mean, I don't know, and what is your purpose or what's, what are they trying to achieve here well, with these about, interviews? Yeah. It's about corruption. It's about corruption in the water sector. WIN is working there as a water integrity network who wants to promote integrity in the water sector. And uh, these guys, we're going around and ask people, you know, from all over the world uh, what they think about corruption and integrity. Okay. And then we try to link it to the world here, the water world. And obviously, uh, it's quite funny when I interview people, let's say from Africa, whatever, they seem to know what corruption is, but they kind of shy to talk about it. So what, what, what strikes you about working in the water sector? Because your background is not necessarily in the water sector. Not at You're all. You're more of a of a producer. Exactly. So, I mean, in that sense, what, what strikes you about the stories you're picking up and maybe about the approaches that you're seeing here? Well, it's interesting. I just uh, was at a seminar where they talked about the uh, river dolphins in the Ganges and the Yangtze and from WWF. And, and I thought that was interesting. I never heard about that. You know, I'm, I'm new to this world here. You know, I'm just here because they show my film and they invited me and to meet these people and there are these really um, interesting issues I never heard about and, and corruption you know was also something I always had in mind sure there's corruption in many issues in many sectors but in the water sector I couldn't imagine but of course it's there and of course it's so, so what was a striking example then of, of corruption in the water sector well in I never yeah I, I I never got involved in the cases because I really okay. don't care about the specifics because I'm not an expert. I talked about the fact, you know, that actually every six seconds, that's what they told me, every six seconds a child dies due to lack of access to clean water and, and corruption is a part of that. So, I mean, it really affects people. Yeah. And that's what, you know, was never in my mind, you know, so, I, I live in the entertainment world, yeah. you know, and... But coming from the entertainment yeah. world, you must have some ideas about how to present you know, new Absolutely. information and, and Absolutely. Absolutely. How how do you go about promoting corruption? I mean you say you quote it's statistics. Hard. No. But no. you know, how do you how do you actually do that? No. I walked away from that. I told them right away, you know, corruption you can make a film about corruption, you know, because corruption is invisible. You know, and to have people with a little bit of money in your hand or you're showing somebody underneath the table that's a three second shot and then that's it. So I thought I walk away from it and, and I decided to make a film about water itself, about the purity of water and how important it is. And also we work with images, uh, you know, we, we, we bought in the US, you know, where you have tainted water and I did it on a very artificial way. You know, a lot of people say it's a very cool and, and, and cold film, but I thought, you know, yes, but I wanted to have attention. I mm. wanted to have not a, a film where everybody says, oh, this is done with a home video kind of thingy or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's a very, you know, stylish kind of film. Yeah. And, and to just get the attention of the people. And when the people walk by, they see these pictures, say, wow, that's HD quality, super water quality, that's pure. And, and so, so you're talking about you're doing this at the booth. Yes. of the Water Integrity Network exactly. here we show this. at the World Water Week. So you're attracting professionals exactly. and you're finding that this is working. Yeah. And also, you know, but that, that doesn't mean that's always working. When yeah. I would make a film about, you know, the dolphin uh, situation, of course, you have to get the people interested. You know, you have to find emotional uh, angle. And I think, you know, a lot of these issues here, when you walk away from the technical side and just look at the issues itself, a lot of these issues are very emotional. Know, people in little communities yeah. need water, don't get it, and get sick because of bad water, dirty water. And you know, these are emotional stories, but nobody, as I look around, is telling any emotional stories. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. We're out of time. Okay. But it's a really interesting angle, and maybe next time we can talk some more about how to get the emotion in the right way. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you.